Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantivari. Today we are going to discuss how to interface an Android mobile with the MATLAB. So for the interfacing, we need a MATLAB uh, version 2014A or later version and the mobile MATLAB 2.0. So we can access data from the MATLAB uh, for the sensor mobiles such as uh, acceleration, angular velocity, orientation, magnetic field and the position. So we need two packages. First one is the MATLAB mobile and it must be installed on your mobile that in the Android mobile and we need also the MATLAB version 2014A or a later version such as 14A, 14B or 15A and 15B. Fine. So now let's start here. First of all that you have to install a support package from a MATLAB. So click on add-ons and get a hardware support package. Then you can click on install from internet. The next. Now we have to select the Android here. So you must get Android here. Okay, and you can also select Apple iOS if you are using a uh, Apple mobile, but let's say the Android sensor. Fine, I have already installed here, that's why it is giving a reinstall. Otherwise, in your case, it must give a install. And then click on the next. Select the accept the term and conditions, and then the click on the next, it will install. It will install the Android mobiles and other shared component and uh, it may ask for the login in your case. So the first make a MATLAB account if you do not have and then login then it will come to at this point and then click on the next then it will start to the installation. Okay. After the installation after the installation come back to your mobile phone come back to your mobile phone and uh, see here in your mobile phone okay in your mobile phone first install your MATLAB 2.0 in Android mobile and uh, when your application run first it will ask to connect with your computer or with the server okay so connect with the computer when you will enter to connect with the computer you may first get this screen okay you have to enter the ip address or the dns and then the password which you have set in your matlab and the port number okay we will discuss this part after some time okay so the first install the support package in matlab is in a computer MATLAB which you have installed in your PC and then click on the install the Android support package and uh, finally keep it in your computer and uh, then install a MATLAB mobile in your mobile and then you may get this first you may get this first screen at a computer here okay now come back your MATLAB here if you have installed your Android support package then type here connector on here my connector was already running so first let me make it off connector off okay now make connector on you may set first time so it will ask for a password okay let me make it connector off first and then connector on and my password and that is i am setting just a password okay so the connector is on and with the password is your password okay and the ip address is 10.132.195.90 so before connecting with your computer and mobile you need to do 
a very important thing disable proxy disable proxy in your computer as well as mobile okay so the first disable your proxy if you are using proxy if you do not use proxy please uh, skip this step so first i am disabling proxy here and also i have disabled proxy in my mobile fine so the first of all that i have to enter this ip address here ip address and then the this password which i have given this password you can see anything here this will be automatically taken as a password so i have given a password as a password okay so you can enter that password here and leave this port as an optional okay it is 31415 is by default so leave it as it is and uh, after entering ip address and the password and disabling the proxy setting you just click on the connect and when you will click on the connect you will see it will connect with your computer and when it will connect with your computer you may get your very first screen like this one now you can perform any matlab operation on your mobile now click on the setting in your mobile click on the setting and then you may get your email address on which you have logged in and uh, your connected computer with the 10.132.195.90 for in my case and in your case it may be the different and in the command setting you can see here the matlab keyboard is on now when you will uh, connect it and uh, when it will show the keyboard it will be come into the format of the matlab and the auto complete must be on then it will suggest some matlab and key keyword to you and in the sensor case and uh, you can see the control from mat level is on that's mean you can control your sensors you can make on and off from matlab and the send data in a background that's mean when the, your matlab uh, matlab application is in the background in your mobile then it will will send it will also keep sending the data to your computer okay and uh, for seeing the, your sensors you just click on the command and then you will get a four option here command history figure and the sensor click on the sensor and after clicking on sensor you may get this screen this screen when you will click this accelerometer magnetometer and gyroscope you will get uh, these parameters okay now let's come back our matlab fine so let me first connect my mobile with the matlab fine i have connected my mobile with the matlab fine now let's 